Say good morning. Morning. Say good morning, everybody. Morning. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. We are early, but um, we decided to go live early. Hi. Who's there? <laughs> okay, I have a question. I have a Hi. question. I have a question for everybody. Just stay there. Stay there first. Stay there first. Left. What happened there? What is going on? Said, oh, there you go. Okay. Nothing. I was just looking at the. Uh... Okay. Anyway, it's almost time. I have a question. I have a question to ask. Okay. Get 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 seated there. And I have a question to ask. Okay. Oh, yeah, just preparing. Okay. Now, here's, here's a question for you. Here's a question for you. Okay? Uh, so who am I? Uh, who am I to you? Papa. Some say Jacobson, some say Jake, some say the person I envy, some say the person that teaches baptism class. That's <laughs> crazy. Okay, wait, 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 now, now, what if, what if, okay, what if, for some stroke of luck, which of course is not going to happen, but what if I get elected President of the United States, okay, how are you going to deal with me? Huh? The same how, way how, we deal with you now. The same way you deal with me now, okay. Same way you deal with me now, okay. What else? How else? I mean, what, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by the same way you deal with me now? The same um, respect. Huh? Okay. I, yeah. Are you, okay. is it gonna be any different? Are you all of a sudden gonna be saluting me when you see me at home? Or are you gonna, no. huh? No. no. Hey, Pop. <laughs> okay. Anyway, nothing should really change, right? Nothing should really change. Right? Uh, Mia, were you not reading the other day about uh, the story of uh, who was that president? Teddy Roosevelt, right? Was it you or was it Jana? Huh? You? Right? When, uh, when, ja when, when Teddy Roosevelt was having a meeting with his uh, ministers and all of a sudden his son barges into the meeting room and says, Hey, daddy, 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 the hamster gave birth. Right? So, <laughs> so the little boy, really, uh, you know, the little boy um, um, just was so casual and so candid with his dad, right? He didn't care whether he was president or, or, or whatever it is. But as far as he was concerned, he was dad, right? That's all that he cared about, right? Now, now. You see, and here's one very good, uh, uh, this is the lesson that we're going to learn today, see, uh, in this gospel, okay, in the gospel today. So this is what we're going to learn today about uh, how we should relate to our Father God, okay. It's a short gospel. So anyway, it's 7 o'clock. Good morning, everybody. Again, good morning. Um, we're going to read the gospel and do a commentary, okay. Uh, but uh, I think it's appropriate for this particular gospel uh, reading today. I will invite J Joseph. Who wants to read? Joseph, come here, come here, come here, come here, Joe. He'll be the one to read the gospel. Okay. Hello, I'm Joe. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Okay, come here, come here, come here. Be on camera. Okay, there you are. Get up a little bit. Okay. Hi. Yeah. By the way, those glasses are fake. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to copy my dad. <laughs> Okay, let's go. The gospel is from who? Who wrote the gospel for the who's reading? Okay. Matthew. Matthew, chapter uh, 19. 19, verse 3, 13, 13, to, 13 to, 15. to 15. Okay, go, 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 go. What are you going to use? Oh, you want to read from here or from there? Okay. What do you want to Little wanna... children were brought to him. Hmm. Then 
then that they might lay his hands on them and pray. But the disciples rebuked him. Rebuked, rebuked them. them. But Jesus said to them, Let the children be, and do not hinder them from coming to me. For such is the kingdom of heaven. And then, and when he had laid hands on them, he departed from that place. Okay, very good. Thank Bye. you. Okay, sit down now, sit down. So that was the gospel for today, right? Jesus uh, was approached by, uh, by children and the disciples. Well, was shooing them away. He said, don't disturb our master. But no, he said, no, 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 no. Let the little children come to me. Hey, let the little children come to me. Don't prevent the children from coming to me because theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Uh, what does this gospel teach us? This, this gospel can, can be interpreted in two ways. One is that it has a literal uh, meaning to it. And that, that is that the kingdom of heaven belongs to children. So children have a place in heaven. And that's the reason why uh, in the church we are encouraged to baptize our children uh, from infancy. I used to be the catechist of the parish uh, giving uh, uh, classes on infant baptism to uh, parents who uh, you know bring their kids for baptism uh, after birth and uh, that's what I always emphasize see baptize kids early because the church in fact recommends that we baptize our kids at least a month uh, within a month after their um, their birth okay so that is a very important uh, doctrinal point that we have to understand kids children have a place in heaven the other meaning of this gospel is more uh, spiritual in the sense of uh, what attitude we adults should have towards our Father God. See, God is our Father. And as far as He is concerned, we are all children. And, uh, and as far as God is concerned, uh, we who are children of God ought to deal with Him as children do okay as children do and and the the expert on this particular path of uh, of spirituality um has been saint Teresa of lusieux okay saint Teresa of lusieux was that carmelite nun who um who um uh, uh, died young died young she was very sickly uh she died young but she uh, um, bequeathed to us in the church a very very important uh, lesson in spirituality and that is to deal with God our Father as a child as a child would deal with his or her father okay? it has nothing to do with being childish okay? it has nothing to do with being babyish but it is rather all about having the dispositions the attitudes of children which we're going to uh, uh, look at later Okay? But before we, before we go there, let us, uh, let us uh, understand where this whole fatherhood uh, comes from. Right? St. Paul tells us, you have received the spirit of sonship when we cry, Abba, Father. Okay? We have received the spirit of sonship, which makes us cry, Abba, Father. It is the spirit himself bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of of God okay? and our our Lord Jesus Christ himself has taught us to address God our Father right uh, he gave us that that uh, prayer right when when he said when you pray you say our Father who art in heaven Jesus Christ revealed the Godhead to us the Trinity to us not as this uh, awesome uh, magnificent and unreachable God right that was not the way that Jesus Christ revealed the Godhead to us. He revealed the Godhead to us as a father. That God is our father. And that is why he told us to address God precisely that way. When you pray to God, you call him our father who art in heaven, etc. So, St. Therese of Lisieux was the one who uh, is recognized as having... Um, 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 popularized or, or even even you would say uh, concretized 
this path of spirituality in the church to teach us how to become like little children eh, before God. Okay, so what, what does it mean to be like a little child? Uh, if you were if you were to try and think, okay, how how are how are kids like as far as their their parents are concerned? How do they deal with their parents? How like that kid of Teddy Roosevelt, right? How was he as far as his father, president, was concerned? What was his what are his char the characteristics? What Sophia? Joyous. Um, it was joyous. It was all yeah okay. He was excitable, he's excited, he was uh, cheerful. What else? <laughs> eh? What else? How are kids like as far as their fathers or their parents are concerned? Hmm? Do, they, do they come around their parents and say, Hey, father, um, I am your son, you know. Um, <laughs> do, do, do you innocent. approach him? Huh? Innocent. innocent, okay. They're, they're very innocent, okay. When they when they uh, deal with their parents, there's plenty of innocence in them. What else? Copycat. They're copycats. Okay, they copy their parents, like Joe wanting to put those glasses on to look like Papa. He looks more like Harry Potter than anything else. What else? What else do children do, as far as their parents are concerned? How do they yeah. deal with their parents? Huh? They're obedient. They're obedient. Uh oh, obedient. Oh, huh? Trusting, yeah, trusting, right? They're trusting. They they always, uh, you know, they they they, they always um, trust their parents, right? You don't you don't doubt what your parents tell you, do you? You do. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, but little children don't. You see, you're no longer that little. Little children don't. And so Saint Teresa of Lisieux says we have to imitate the way of little children eh, in dealing with our Father God. Now, let us enumerate the ways. Let's enumerate the ways of, uh, you know, how we will practice spiritual childhood as far as God is concerned. Number one, complete trust and abandonment in providence. You, you said it. Little children are like that. They trust their parents. They cling to their parents all the time, right? They couldn't go anywhere without their parents. They're always there. Same thing is true with God. We have to give God our complete trust, our complete confidence that God takes care of us. If He can take care of the birds of the air and the, you know the sparrows, and remember that other parable that our Lord was saying, well, how much more us? Right? God uh, uh, counts even the number of hair on our heads. He knows. Right? So there's nothing that escapes God, our Father. Okay? Just like Papa, who knows everything you're doing. Right? Even the things that you're looking at on the computer, Papa knows. Right? So, same thing is true with God, right? Same thing is true with God. So, ch being childlike before God is to give our complete trust and confidence in God, our Father. Uh, second is innocence, the characteristic of innocence. And in our case, it will really mean, it will really mean uh, having a pure heart. Having a pure heart. Having a sincere heart. Before God, we cannot put up pretenses. Before God, we cannot put up uh, defenses. Before God, we cannot put on masks, hiding from, from God all the time. Okay? We cannot do that. Because God knows everything we do. God knows who we are. God knows um, uh, what's inside our hearts. So... Our complete transparency, our complete innocence, our complete um, uh, uh, um, purity and sincerity is the right disposition okay, to deal with God. Another characteristic would be simplicity. Simplicity. Children are very simple. They're not complicated in the way that they talk, right? In, in prayer, when you when you when you talk to your when you talk to your papa. You do not compose a uh, poetic uh, essay or whatever it is, and, and you, you, you talk like you were reading a book, right? Or you talk like uh, uh, you, you, were, you were presenting a dissertation, okay? That's not the way we deal with our Father, right? Well, the same thing is true with God. <clears throat> same thing is true with God. We deal with our Father God in prayer with complete simplicity. Complete simplicity 
all the time, right? And then, perhaps the uh, to, to to summarize this whole thing, right? Uh, the 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 attitude of humility should also be uh, part of that childlike uh, manner of dealing with our Lord. Right? We cannot be dealing with God like you know we're all self uh, assured, like we're all puffed up, like we're all uh, we're all um, you know like 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 the Pharisee and the the tax collector. Uh, remember that parable where the Pharisee was there in front of God in the temple saying, Oh God, I thank you that I'm not like this uh, tax collector. You know, I am a super Pharisee. I uh, pay my tithes. I give alms to the poor. You know, he was so self-indulgent that he thought he was such a big guy, right, in front of God. And the Pharisee, uh, the, the tax collector, the back of the church was so humble, it couldn't even as much as lift up his eyes and say, have mercy on me, a sinner. Have mercy on me, a sinner. Right? So the humility, the humility of a child, the simplicity of a child, is the way that we should be uh, presenting ourselves before the throne of God, who is also our Father. Right? Now, uh, all of those things might be a little difficult and tough to do, uh, uh, right from the get-go, right? But you know what? Uh, there's there's some good news. If it if we find it difficult to to imagine God or to to deal with God as our Father, there is one shortcut, and the shortcut is Our Lady. The shortcut is Our Mother. See? While we have a Father, God, we also have a Mother in Our Lady. And Our Lady is truly, truly a mother to us in, in, in uh, many more ways than one, right? And so, and so if we sometimes find it uh, difficult to be, to be uh, dealing with our Father God and approaching our Father God, well, the shortcut is to go to Mary. The shortcut is to deal with Our Lady and really be like a son to Our Lady. And let Our Lady uh, handle the rest of the situation that we might want to present to Our Father God. Okay, okay that should do it for us today, folks. Uh, it's confession day for us. It's Saturday morning, so we're headed off to church to go to confession. And, uh, you know, again, uh, that's, a, that's a good reminder for everybody. Uh, take some time to go to confession soon. Uh, the way we do it, we well, we do it every week. So I would always encourage people to uh, uh, make time to approach the sacrament of confession. Okay, I got this little thing behind me. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.